What's up, America? My name is Rich. Welcome to my home theater. I'm going to show you how to do a home theater like I did it on a budget. Three grand or less, more or less. First, we come on in. See, I got my badass posters, classic films. Get those all on eBay. Six bucks each. I guess we'll start first with the projector. Extensive, that's a uh, Optima HD20. Did extensive research on projectors. And all the research I did didn't really matter. Doesn't matter. If you, when you research your projector, you'll see that you got all these different horizontal shift and zoom lens and all that kind of crap. The way I did my theater, it didn't matter because where I put my projector, basically set the size of my screen so it didn't matter. I just did the projector first and then did the screen based on where the image flashed onto the wall. And I'll show you the screen. Basically I got a nice size projector, 120 inch diagonal screen and basically with the throw distance of the, of the projector, I could have gotten bigger if I was going to go back further. But with the distance I have of about 16 feet, it made a nice 120 inch diagonal screen. Now this screen is a painted on screen. And again, a lot of research in determining how to do a painted on screen. And basically, if you go to projectorcentral.com, you can get all the information on the projector itself. And they have an article on there on uh, painting a screen for under $100 and they basically did all the work for you researching all the different types of paint and basically the paint that I use is right here it's Sherwin Williams Pro Classic Interior Acrylic Latex first you put the primer up and then you put this and the, the picture I got on my screen is just as good as any other screen you can buy and it cost me probably less than much less than $100 to do it. Like I said, it's 120 inch diagonal and it's an awesome picture. And if you get the, um, this particular uh, projector was under a thousand dollars and it was the, at the time it was the, the only 1080p projector that was under a thousand. And then as far as speakers go, I pretty much went all my speakers as pulp audio. Basically, my theater is also 7.1, so I have the uh, extra two speakers in the room. Got the subwoofer. Uh, most of this stuff I got at Brandsmart, but a couple of the speakers I got on eBay. I got the Polk Audio subwoofer on eBay. Uh, much cheaper than it was brand new in the store, and it was brand new. The two speakers I have in the back and the two side speakers are both exactly the same. In the back. They're both exactly the same speakers. One, the, the back pair were brand new at Brandsmart. They're like $1.99 for the pair. The two side pairs, exactly the same. Those I got last minute on eBay as a refurbished, and they were like $1.29, and they, work, they both work just as good. And then, of course, we got the nice leather, leather sofas down here. We didn't go with the... Uh, with the uh, theater seats, but this is just as good. And then, um, and then as far as the components go, I basically have a, you know, a Sony Blu-ray and the Denon receiver. And like I said, you don't need to go, got the popcorn machine. And like I said, you don't need to go crazy on, on the, uh, on the screen. Basically, just a paint. Like I said, it's a painted on screen, and, it, and it's a good enough. It's an awesome picture. It's just as good as any other any screen you can buy, and the screens you can buy are super expensive. They're gonna take you way over your budget. So that's about it. If you want to do a theater like this yourself, it ain't gonna cost you a lot of money. It's super cheap. Got my candy over there. Trying to keep it. Trying to keep it authentic.
some uh, little knickknacks around the room. That's about it. So I hope this is helpful. Like I said, you can do a theater yourself for $3,000 or, or less. Just have the right room. This room happens to not have any ambient light, so it was even easier. And that's all. So I'd like to leave you off with Tony Montana. That's it. See ya.